Hi everyone, this is uh, update number seven and uh, as you saw in my previous video, if you saw it, I was mentioning that the weather was too warm for uh, working the resin on the main hull. So um, my uncle was kind enough to let me use his part, a small space in his business to be able to uh, use that time, that downtime, to uh, continue the work on other parts of the boat. And what I'm doing now is I'm assembling uh, the walls. So it's again all those pieces of foam that I had cut which are six inches wide by eight feet long and uh, obviously three inches wide. And these are pieces that I had put aside uh, when making the floor sections and the roof sections because a lot of the uh, this uh, black uh, kind of paper, uh, fiber paper uh, finish on the foam was actually peeling off and I didn't think it was good to use it th that way for gluing the pieces together. So what I've done is all those pieces is I stripped that uh, black uh, felt paper off of it because uh, this foam was walked on uh, on one side but the other side, this the back side that was underneath the roof because this is reclaimed foam from a uh, commercial flat roof building and uh, this side is all perfectly intact as you can see so it doesn't peel off and then this one has all these indentations and uh, it's probably just crushed stone that was pushed in and things like that so basically that's what I've done just stripped it off and my uh, fiberglass will adhere to the foam much better and this will also be sanded so I've got you know I have many pieces of this foam uh, that's ready to go and I made another table just for this purpose again so I've got these I have these uh, eight feet eight inch nine inch uh, beams here that I've made and underneath the table it's again you know all these beams to hold the table to be you know very straight and true and if you look there is no bend or anything to the table because uh, I'm gluing these pieces uh, with the uh, urethane uh, foam adhesive that you've been seeing this gun that I use and uh, I'll show I'll give you a shot of how I do that so right now I have uh, one two three four five sections that are glued together and uh, these are uh, paving stones that I'm using as weights to hold the, fl the foam down flat on the uh, table and it's also resting on the small thin piece of plywood that's there uh, in between every section so and that's these plywood strips that are basically three inches uh, wide by eight feet long and that's uh, a little thinner than uh, a quarter inch I think it's somewhere around five millimeters same plywood I've been using in the uh, roof and uh, floor structure except we're uh, only three inches wide this time compared to six inches because now the foam is laying flat this way so these three inch walls are the walls that are going to be resting on the pontoons so that's uh, what I'm doing at this time and I'll give you a shot of uh, how I go about uh, putting on the foam beads on the wood and then the foam and then doing piece by piece and how all this comes together and once uh, that is done basically this is what it looks like so now you're seeing the back side here uh, I've made so these are now uh, four foot uh, wide uh, structures by uh, eight feet long and you can see this is the plywood that's in between here so at every six inches we have that plywood and this is a side view of it here so I've got many pieces done I've got enough here to do my two uh, 18 uh, feet long uh, walls on each side. So I'll give you now a shot. Oh yeah, and then this is the opposite. But these are my uh, roof uh, sections here. So all this is going to be ready to be uh, fiberglassed. Uh, well, a light sanding as well, and then fiberglassed. So I'll give you now a shot of... Uh, doing the uh, foam beads on this and putting it together. All right, so now I'm going to apply the uh, foam beads to this uh, three inch uh, piece. So I have, I 
use uh, three beads. Once the uh, piece of plywood is pressed against the foam, these uh, beads spread out. And the way I have them positioned there, it'll give uh, optimum, optimum surface area. And that's what's really important in this kind of structure, the foam structure is surface area. So now I just take this piece, line it up here, press again, that piece of foam. And then the next thing is taking the piece of foam and doing the very same thing on it. So I'm using my hand here as a guide to hold the nozzle of the foam gun. And my big hand here on the guide of the edge of the foam to keep a fairly straight line here. Now we're recording. Okay, and uh, now actually it's my uncle that's uh, doing the video camera. Thank you there. And what I do is I put a stone uh, right away on this because it, the foam bows uh, just to keep it flat and straight. And again, I just line it up here. At this end, I make one end straight and true. And the other end, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be cutting that. And I apply this stone on the little piece of plywood there on the corner of it. And here, and then just press that foam in. And then we have another stone I put here, pressure in the back, and that's it. That's how I make these uh, pieces. So I'll give you another shot of, of when I have all this, when this is all dried and ready, and I'll show you how it all comes into one piece. So there you have it. The uh, whole uh, four foot section is all done, and all we need to do is just uh, wait about uh, 30 minutes to 45 minutes max and we can now uh, lift this, uh, this whole section off and I'll give you a shot of uh, that and now the stones are into place there to, to hold this down and uh, once I'll uh, lift that up I'll obviously remove those stones. Alright so now I've removed all the stones to hold the thing into place and lifting it down and as you can see it's all one solid and it's pretty light about 40 pounds at the most I would say and that's it that's how I make the uh, walls thanks for watching